Hi everybody, welcome oh. to England. <laughs> Rainy old England. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry we've not been around for a while but we have been busy. We work on a campsite and anyone who works on a campsite will know how busy it is. Bank holiday time and we've been a bit tired haven't we? Yes, we've been a bit tired. We've been a lot tired really. Yeah we have. Tireder than we normally, normally are. Aren't we? Yeah that's to do with age. Yeah. Anyway, the, this is the video about the all the expenses for a, a winter holiday in um, well we went to Casada we drove down in the motorhome and we spent 90 days all together in Spain well in Spain from start to finish more or less 90 days and we logged everything that we spent it's not a budget it's just a, the uh, a record of, of what we spent some of these things won't apply to you some will but we'll put the we'll get them up on the screen here and we're starting with i'm gonna to have to look that way because i've got a screen over there um month number one november which was only the very end of it we uh what time when did we go down we went on 23rd 23rd of november we got the ferry. We drove from rip and down so we got we, we um on the way down we might have got something to eat on the ferry we'd have got something to eat we'd have had drinks and then we got down to casada and we spent it's down there drinking uh, having drinks out because we're on holiday restaurants out because we're on holiday but mainly we ate out more than we normally would on a winter holiday because we, we did um there's no extractor fan in in the apartment. and we had no oven and we had no oven so i would have had to do hob top cooking a little bit cool for barbecue stuff but so i'd have been have to be cooking on the hob and we'd not extract it to make the apartment smell. So that's my excuse anyway. Uh, Kath, Kath doesn't need an excuse because she's not the cook. No, you'll so cook. We, uh, so the first couple of weeks, let's have a look on this on this thing up here. I'll just uh, put us off for a moment. We don't need us on, do you? So here we go. So the drinks, we, we only spent 31 quid on drinks. Went out on the 23rd and the euros. 20th. We spent it's all in oh euros, yes, everything's by the way. in euros. So 14 euros and 17.50. Food shopping, we got some bits on the way down, and then we got bits when we got there. For you know, you have to fill your fridges, so it's 68 quid there. And eating out, some of this was on the boat. Well, that's only like a week, isn't it? Yeah, it's only a week, so you can see straight away. Okay. Yeah. We're spending money. 420 quid Pat, euros so, yeah euros keep saying quids right so that's november we'll go to december december we went out a little more often and if you look if you look just down there in a moment i'll um, show you the average and averages for these these times as well we'll go back to the full screen so here we've got the drinks that was uh, a we lot. went out if we just select them and then look down the bottom there well we paid for drinks 11 times well, minimum was, 11 was times. six the maximum we spent on those times was 68 i don't know total. where 68 come from but i mean that's well, it what it says. it's up there 68 quid. yeah the food shopping we went to the shop if you look down on the bottom there 12 times spending an average of 32 40 each time the restaurant we went out we spent food out we, we ate food out 17 a lot times, of times. You look down on the right again there 17 a lot of times, times yeah that's um, just for december isn't it that's just for december yeah, so 17 days either lunches or evening meals um average 29 pound for the two of us right we're back on this now so Kath's not uh, not sure where we spent all, the, all that money but that is every time we spent something in a restaurant oh i know what these are because these went out when my sister came oh yeah we sp yeah so we spent a little bit more yeah. when, when Kath's sister and um and brother-in-law keith keith came yeah um anyway so that's december so close that up the total for december being 1132 on food shopping drinks and restaurants which is quite a bit of brass it's a lot of brass um let's have a look at f uh, january january we, did, we went up to benny dorm in january we're january we're, we're in New january Year's for Eve. the beginning of january and then about mid january we went back yeah. up for a few days so the drinks total there we didn't do too bad in benny dorm 
Let's have a look. Seven, seven times out. Not just Benidorm, obviously. It's the whole of January. That's the whole of January. Seven times we went out and had drinks. Uh, restaurants, we went out more than that. We went out 15 times for the... Um, for January and food shopping we bought food at the shops 15 times and there's your totals for January 940 the last month we were there was February and again we went out not too many times on drinks food shopping probably a similar number of days oops how many days is that 12 times the restaurant we went out 10 times that could be a lunch and an evening meal or just a lunch so that was 831 so for food drinks food drinks and shopping for the 90 days totaled 3324 which is quite a lot for eating out yeah well if we do it on here we ate out too many times too many times let's have a look oh in 90 days we ate out as you can see down here 48 times wow the average meal for two was 31.90 or the average spend on those um, 48 times is 31.90 the max was 18 then you've got a little couple of you've got a three a three in there so that was a restaurant total 1530 odd for, for 90 days food shopping I'll just scroll down here oh we went food shopping 44 times with an average spend of 30 pound each 30 euros each time just if I say pounds you just have to bear with me I'm old you're, you're old. old so 30 times and uh a max of 94 that'll have been when, when Kath will buy in her champagne and smoked salmon which she has for breakfast every morning yeah right yeah so that was 1338 and drinks too much not really we're on holiday I know we are on, on holiday, holiday so the average t if we went out and had just drinks the average was 1747 the restaurant bills did would have included um, drinks as well I didn't always separate them I put the drinks down if we went to the bar and then the restaurant later I'd put the drinks in the bars on this spread on this sheet on this section rather and then I put the meal and any drinks we had with the meal and just go down as restaurant so average of 1750 1747 euros every time we went out for and had drinks and we went out 26 times out of 90 which is not too bad well, when you put it like that it's not is it no 26 uh, times it's not bad at all that includes afternoon drink if you just go in an afternoon not yeah night. no yeah um and it includes benny dorm and two lots of visitors we'd go out and have yeah. meal, meals and drinks with visitors three lots of visitors three yeah linda and david don't mention names rebecca you might want to stay private joanne and rebecca yeah. and bridget and keith yeah so three sorry three, three, three lots, lots of visitors three lots and of visitors. we'd go out and eat out which if we were when we retire there and we live there we are, we will have a very tight budget fairly tight budget and we won't be out every night we won't be out how many times do they say there for drinking in 90 days if you keep following us yeah you will you will see because we will have to do it on mix pension yeah we'll have to do everything on um, we have got savings but we'd rather not break into the savings and if we have got to break into the savings then we will tell you yeah i don't want to take the savings below a million euros <laughs> because then you just why are you, we working then <laughs> oh, oh not a million euros no i've, I've got why the are we wrong. working i like spreadsheets but i think it's not a million is it anyway so <laughs> we, we we have got we'll have a little bit of savings but we'll have to try and um hopefully live a long time in this in the lovely sunny weather down in, yeah. in Spain and we'll have to live on until Kath gets her pension which is a few years further on than me nearly three yeah we just have to live yeah. on one pension which as you know will be about 900 euros is it or 900 roughly about 900 euros about 900 euros and you'll be thinking well if they take it easy that's not bad they've only spent 3,324 what about which is not else, bad ah, but we have to get there we have to get to spain we have to get to spain so we'll go back to the spreadsheet and we came back well clearly we came back we did 
anyway <laughs> so let's go back to this spreadsheet so here's a long list of all the things oh, that yeah. we have mm. so we'll add on we'll start adding things on the ferry the ferry, ferry was expensive the ferry was down. dear that was 650 going down well that euros or pounds no you've got that you've got I these them, these I? are pounds the mix, mix, mix no mix. it's only them two just those two are in pounds yeah, Kath, pounds Kath paid for the um the ferries online so we've got 650 going 345 coming back which was a shorter route if you followed the if you look at um if you look at the other videos we came back from um, France, which I'll put the link to at the end. But if you subscribed, you probably seen got a ferry anyway. from France. Yeah, we drove up through Spain, through France, St. Malo to San Malo, and got the shorter ferry back. On the way down, we went from uh, Portsmouth to Santander. Santander. I'm not looking at the camera. I keep looking at this. I told you to look at that. And I'm I am looking at this. I am. I know you are. Well done, Kath. I'll try looking at all. <laughs> so we got we went Portsmouth Santander, then drove down to Casada, uh, which. We, we, we've tried to weigh up it swings and roundabouts yeah. isn't it because of course if you, you go to Santander you have to we didn't take any food on the ship so we bought food going down on the ship uh, in the restaurant which were we normally do take something yeah we're no we great didn't. shakes and it wasn't particularly cheap we might as well just take sandwiches yeah. so we will do next time But we, so you spend a little bit on food but you're not spending money on fuel going down to uh, down to Casada apart from Santander to Casada, which is only about a nine hour trip. Yeah. So you've got fuel there. We had fuel down to Portsmouth, then fuel from Santander to Casada. On the way back, we had fuel from Casada all the way up to San Malo. We also had to, we stopped overnight, so we had a few camping airs yeah. and we had to buy food, but we were living on Ries. Oh, yeah, the really. Anyone um, who's been to France has had a lot It's basically life. rough cut potted meat but it's proper meat <laughs> it's, it's nice. not it's not rubbish it, we we like it Lovely. and go on it's processed so what it's just pork and it's just pork in it 100 percent pork and it was so we had we were eating a lot of that coming back up with baguettes uh, with baguettes and then we had other bits and bats whereas if we'd have come from casada to santander we'd have maybe had one meal on the way up and then we've got the ferry and then we'd be home yeah uh, in no time so we spent time we, we came up slowly from spain if you look at the previous videos with their little map things on them, we came up slowly. We stopped a few times. Um, we had um, one proper meal in a restaurant, which was Flunch. That's not a restaurant, no. No, you know, a proper, a sort meal of a proper a, meal. That were yeah. Flunch on the way up. Um, we only had drinks once from a bar, I think, didn't we? Once. One, one yeah. pint each, didn't we? So we didn't spend a fortune coming back up. And then the ferry from San Marlo to Portsmouth was free. 345 pounds not euros yes um but we had fuel coming up yeah, right so we've got the fuel the ferry coming coming up so that's that so that takes our little total up to 4323 for the 90 days mm -hmm. um then we also add fuel so the fuel all the way down and all the way up was where's the fuel in there we've got fuel this includes a couple of hire cars though we hired a car for two lots of visitors ourselves and we paid for it uh, we paid yes. for the fuel i think we paid for it unless bridget i think bridget gave us some anyway didn't she anyway that's, that's ah. by the by we the, the fuel include is 802 euros and it includes we fueled up 40 if you look down at the bottom right bottom of the screen again we fueled up 14 times with an average of 57 an odd tenner we put in um, and a maximum was 162 that's fueling more than once in a day obviously I can't get 162 in me in me um, <laughs> motorhome although having said that with the price of fuel in France it was certainly a lot more expensive mm. than Spain it was around 170 72, 170 74 yeah we're pushing like we're pushing one one eighty one euro eighty for diesel coming up in uh, France in Spain it was average I'd say about 145 a litre 1 euro 45 a litre so a lot dearer in France anyway so the total for the fuel was 802 I'm I'm trying to leave the screen on quite a while so if you if you're really interested you can look at all the dates and try and work things out yourself um, so that's the fuel oh so that's gone up to five grand Kath right um, what other expenses did we have which you would have 
we had to have travel insurance. Yes. Stick that on. The travel insurance was three hundred. Yeah. Because uh, people, we found. We think people when they're doing we, the yeah we've watched we've watched we a few videos. We don't think people add on the the yeah, insurance. And well, we'll show you what we're adding on. Yeah, we will show you what we're adding we've on. We've looked at a few and they say, "Oh, it was fantastic." We went down there. We spent this. We spent that. We spent the other. But they don't allow for everything else. Now, some of the things, if you didn't go abroad, if you stayed in England up through winter for ninety days, you'd be spending mortgage, rent. Or maybe if you're lucky enough not to have any of them, you wouldn't be spending that. But you'd be paying Internet, pol a portion of your pol tax, yeah, a portion of your gas, council electric, tax. Water. So it still cost, you and you still have to eat for ninety days in the UK. So you'd spend money on food. You might go out for a few drinks because you're on holiday. Even if it's cold and wet and grey in the UK, you still want to go out. We would not to have gone out. Up. The, what we've spent going out there. If we were in the UK, there's no way. Yeah, we because I, I we don't spend anywhere near that no going way. out. Anyway, Maybe yeah. once once a week, twice a week, if that. But when it's winter, I don't like going out anyway. Well, how long have we been back? We've been back. We've been back. Um, Just at about end of February. We've hardly been anywhere, have no, we? No, we've we've eaten out tw maybe three twice. Twice. Yeah. I think twice we went to the Italian with Craig and Joanne. Um, we went to Witherspoons. That's only two times we've eaten out. So, so we, we we don't spend a fortune eating out. Because we no. save it all, because when you see the total on here, you'll say, no wonder they don't spend out. Cause <laughs> yeah. If they did, they wouldn't be able to do what they've God, done. No. But this is um, this is a one-off. I mean, we won't, when we go and retire there, we You'll see a massive difference, because we can't yeah. do what this. Right, so we'll carry we'll on anyway. We'll go back, to the, we'll, we'll, back yeah. to the spreadsheet. So we'll have some more expenses on. So we had a little hotel stay. Uh, what else did we have down here? Oh, we have to pay a few mobile phones while you're doing it. Yes. Um, so let's have those on. So with the mobile phones for the 90 days, is that right that night? Yeah, £32 a month we were paying. 32 euros. Euros a month, yeah. So that's took it up to 5695. We stopped in a hotel up in Benidorm, Benidorm for a night. That were our portion two of nights that, it two was nights. Our portion of that was 174. And if you look at the, if you look at the videos, the um, if you look at the videos, the hotel were pretty, pretty rubbish. Wasn't it's, it? it was a nice hotel. Oh, I'm pointing at the thing. It was a nice hotel, but the yeah, food was right nothing good. to be. No, Consid now. considering it's been on TV and it's been um, on yeah. a popular TV program, that's not why we got it. I think. I've, no, no, we got it for where it would have located. Yeah. Right. So the um, so I've added mobile towns the hotels. Now, if you were going to somewhere in Spain for your winter holiday you'd be paying for accommodation you would so you'd have to add all your accommodation on there um and that would probably be only the other the only other expense in a way wouldn't it i would say so yeah but so for us as you know we, we bought a little place in casada and we're going to retire there so whilst we we're there we got down there we had to do some work we had to buy some bits of furniture yeah we didn't realize how bad the furniture was so we bought furniture and things like that. We did that as big household. Yes. Big household things. We also have bank charges. We've got a Spanish bank account. We so have bank, bank charges, charges, unfortunately. Yes. Yeah. But we were talking about bank charges, and it's a bit of a bummer because you pay, you know, you can pay quite a bit in bank charges. Although we pay money into the. We've got to pay Spanish so bank much money into the bank to reduce to, the charges. To reduce the charges, so we pay forty euros a quarter. For the bank, bank charges. if we didn't put that certain amount of money in, it would be sixty euros a quarter. Yeah. But it saves the money for us for when we go across, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, and they have a lot of um, a lot of banks. A lot of banks. Every town's got a bank. You can always go in and speak to somebody. There's always somebody available. Whereas uh, some say there's always no, it's not quite. They do have lunch breaks and they are short staffed, but they are physical buildings. Yeah. Where we are in Ripon, there's no none, banks left. Nothing. Um, and we were in Marley the other other day with my yeah, brother and his sister-in-law yesterday, and the, the very short of banks there. So it's everywhere, the clothing banks, whereas you pay bank charges, and at the moment they've got bricks and mortar banks. But we may change that when we retire, because it's still, if it stays at £40, 40 pound a quarter, it's still £40 pound a quarter we Yours. need to find. Euros. I'll keep correcting yeah, me. Anyway, we also had... A couple of bus and taxi fares, we'll add them. 
that wasn't much. It wasn't much at all. 15, 15 yeah. yard holes. But we've added them because people get buses and taxis. Yeah. Um, if you're on holiday, don't tell us it costs you nothing. If you paid for a taxi, it's a taxi. Uh, we had to pay for, on the way back up, and also in Benidorm. Well, I'll just put campsite fees. We went to Benidorm. We went to Benidorm twice. Twice. And we paid campsite fees at 194 in December. This yes. is a, a camping Villa Sol. Yes. And then 117 in January yeah. when we went back to February. When we went back to February. When we <laughs> went back to Benidorm. Oh. <laughs> oh, blame it. Right. So we went back to Benidorm and spent 117 in January. Um, and of course, if you were in a motorhome and you weren't stopping in hotels, just travelling, you'd have to add, if you weren't wild camping and you did a campsite, you have to add all those up. Yeah. Um, if you pay extra for electric, you've got to put that down. If you pay for laundry, are you putting that down? Nah. We don't know. We don't no, know. No, no. We've, we've watched quite a few videos where people have said this is how much it costs and there's loads missing out. On the way back up, we had camping car sites. The camping cars were 12 euros, 13, 30, 14, 82, and then we had two nights at a tenner each, which was, was that. So that was 60 quid coming north yeah, back home. 60. 60 euros, I think I might as well just give up telling me. 60 euros coming north. And we'll look well when we actually go and live there. Yeah. Right. Um, for the property itself, when we got there, we had, as I said, we had to buy some big bits of things. Big household, which are up there. That's why it's so dear now. 8,723 big household things. Uh, so which were a sofa... Uh, um, fridge freezer, a unit. TV, a unit standard telly yeah. on, some other bits. We yeah. also had normal household expenses, which would be like um, new plug sockets, new plugs, things for the bathroom, that kind of thing. So we just put them down as household. Yeah. So the household, it's not alphabetical, this. Where's the household on there? I can't see. Household. It still adds up though, you spend a little bit, yes. and then you look and it's 573. Yeah. So we spent that, I mean that's something we're not going to spend again. The big household, when we go and live there, we're not going to be spending that again, but we are going to be getting the, the kitchen, kitchen reformed, yeah. even though it's tiny. I'm it going to get it doing. reformed, so that's going to be a big expense um, this winter coming. Um, so that's, we're getting up 9,297, and we've still got more to go on. Yeah, we have. The community charge. Our community charge is quite expensive, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a beautiful pool. It's a lovely place. Lovely gardens. I think that's what you're paying for. Well, you know that's what you're paying yeah. for. So we pay, the community charge is quite high. Then we had electricity, which wasn't too bad compared to the UK. We had a couple... Of, it's gas... There's a gas bottle for the gas hob, and there's a gas bottle for hot water. And I'll just look at the gas. I'll put household gas on there. So if I find house gas, we spent... We bought one bottle at eighteen fifty because I think they were both almost empty, weren't they? Yeah. No, one was almost empty and one was empty. So we bought one more or less straight away. And then we bought two more. And one of those is, we only got it on the 26th of January for the hob, pardon me. And so that's full. So we spent 57 on gas in 90 days. And of course, if you were camper vanning, you've got to add your costs of gas on if you're using gas. Um, refillables or otherwise. So if you you know if you're motor roaming, they don't always mention that, do they? They say oh, we spent so much on fuel, don't mention gas. But well, so might be included. Often. That might be included in in it. Could be. Anyway, house insurance we had to get. We've, we've got house Wi-Fi connected because we've got a camera set up in there, and we wanted to watch things obviously. And the water bill. So the water bill was. I'm just looking at that. A 22 and a 35.57. Apparently, we were told that they've there's been stuff added on to those. Um, it's normally lower, but they reduced it last year and they've added it back on this year. So the people got it cheap for COVID and we've had to pay, the, pay it back to them. Um, what else have we got on there, Kath? Oh, you, well, I don't think we did health insurance on there, did we? Did you get health insurance for... Uh, yeah, we did the travel insurance. Is that your travel yeah. insurance? Right. Um, electricity, we had three bills whilst we were there. 25, a 38 and a 45. So the electricity bill for 90 days was more or less 109. A bit cheaper than the UK. But I think you've got something wrong. 
What have I got wrong? Cast um, copped me now. The I think the what what it the water bill? The water bill. I think there's another water bill on top of that. I think and it was sixty five, but I'd have to check. Alright. Maybe there is. We deal with that. Then there's only one expense left on there, uh, two left on there. No one, one's called one's a blank. Is a vehicle extras, which was one thousand and twenty four quid. Which yes. was uh, 185 for breakdown cover, which I got with. Oh, what to call them? I've forgotten. Driver Guardian. Were it Driver Guardian? Driver Guardian, yeah. And they looked after us very well, actually, when we brought down. No problem, no complaints whatsoever with that. We were dealt with very quickly and efficiently, weren't we? Mm. There's a 13 quid I had to get a taxi to a garage. 130 quid, that was car hire. Uh, 578 was the repair after the motorhome broke down they were recovered us to a garage and I had to pay for the repair and then 125 that's another car hire isn't it yeah yeah so that was the vehicle extras so our total as you can see there was an astounding 11,241 which, which is, is a lot of money but as I say, you can take off all the household stuff because you wouldn't be paying that um, you'd only be paying um, whatever it costs you in your motorhome for campsites etc or if you came down on holiday and you were yeah. just driving straight down and going to a hotel you'd have to pay the hotel or the apartment well cost. next next time you should see a massive difference. Oh, next year there'll be, there'll be a massive difference lots missing off there because obviously can't afford to do it and if i just go back by month again for the um for everything included the first month which is when we got the big household stuff, 4,475. In December, we spent 3,105. In January, we spent 2,042. And in February, we spent 1,660. So there you have it. That's everything that we could everything we could possibly think of yeah is there and people were saying oh my god well we don't have holidays generally we don't have any holidays through summer no we don't because we're working through summer we work flat out right through the season normally and then we just have a big break in winter time that's the advantage of being a, a warden and also for those of you who are interested in warden work it's generally um You'd, you'd either take your caravan with you, park it up, and you don't pay for electricity um, or a pitch or anything. So it's most, most, it's quite it's yeah. cheap living, unless you go out or you're a big booze. It's cheap living, and you tend to save all your money. You save, you put your money away so that you can go away. Yeah, and you do do on social it. hours. So don't come, don't work on a oh, campsite yeah. if you don't want to work on social hours. Yeah, we don't do too bad at, at the one we're on now. No, we do very well. We don't get premium rates for weekends or late nights or anything like that. Uh, but as I say, you don't have the expenses that you know that most people would have for um, for a for a home. For a home, yeah. If yeah. You're living in a, a normal normal situation. That's yeah. thirty minutes, is that, Kath? I might have to cut that down. Wow. Anyway, so that's our our spreadsheet. Anyway, and I just oh yeah, Kath just wants to show you something. When we came back, our <laughs> we our, went to went to your brothers, didn't we? Yeah, I went to my brothers yesterday. And she says, I just saw these, and I thought of you two. And she she gave she us, us a, a little present, little box here, and there was this in the the top of it. There you go. Um, she would bought that's us us. two. There's two of these cups. Quick, quick, yeah, two cups. Minutes. And two of those. Two of them. And two coasters to put them on. That's a lovely little gift. Yeah. And I've just found out where she got them from. Yeah. So I'll so stick if the, anybody wants to know, we'll put we'll the put the link, link the in the, the um, yeah. in the bottom. But they're but, going in the motorhome. Yeah, the tin cups. The tin cups. But they're very pretty, so we thank yes. thanks, thanks Paul and Paul Lynn. And Lynn. Love you lads. Yes. So that was it. So that was it. Yeah. We, we are planning when we do retire, we are planning on taking the van out and doing a trip round France aren't we yeah because we need to this is another thing we need to see how much the van's going to cost us to transfer it over to Spanish plates and it may may or may yeah, not be we've possible yeah we've been quoted some high money. prices yeah. I'm not telling you how much but we've been quoted yeah. some high prices so we will document that if we transfer if we do it we'll it's a left hand drive um, motorhome so it, theoretically it should be easier yeah 
but we'll document if we if we change it to Spanish plates, we'll document it. Mm. But um, we we make things up as we go along sometimes, so we don't <laughs> we don't you know we're not <laughs> sure what we're doing. We might even we're talking about coming back and doing another year working here because we love the place. There's lovely and, people. And we the love, customers are nice. And we love who we work with. Yeah, the people we work with. But are we nice. just haven't decided yeah. what to do yet. We'll, bit, we'll we will know. I it, think by mid the it, middle of I think by June July. Yeah. I think we'll know yeah. what and, we want to do. And because I can now, I'm now fit, reti- officially retired. You've got to stop sometime. You are. You know we're lucky. And where, it oh. did say. And it did say. Where did where did you say the average life? life oh yeah, so we might be popping our clothes. He's seventy one. Yeah. So if he's sixty six, I've he's not only got, got many five. summers left. No, you haven't, have you? And if I'm spending my summers here, it's a bit pointless. Although we'd come back and do something like this part time, maybe I don't know. Um, it's got to be need not greed. Uh, so yeah, it's got to be need, need not, not greed. greed. Yeah. Um, health is wealth. Health is wealth. Oh, we're all full of it. Let's have another one. A bird in the bush is worth two in the hand. Anyway, eh? we're full of wisdom. Bird in the bush. Yeah, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. <laughs> no wisdom here at all. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so if Any... you are, please subscribe. There's, I'm going like, to put the ding of, like, su- subscribe. like, subscribe, thumbs up, share with your mates. Um, I'm going to put the subscribe thing here. So if you ring the bell, next time we put a video on, which is probably going to be just around Yorkshire, we might have a night out in Ripon or York or Harrogate or something. Yeah. Um, You'll see it first because you've you've if you're subscribed and you ring the notification bell, it'll let you know. But it, yeah, but even if you subscribe and you don't watch what we do between now and we we'll go back, yeah, then at least you know when we are back in Spain, it will come up. It'll and come be up. Able oh, to have you'll a say look. they've got a new video out. Yeah. Let's have a look. See how old they look now <laughs> after the after the full season as campsite wardens again. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how how much they've aged and how much weight they've lost. Mm. But that's um, that's why you click the notification bell. And it's free, as everyone tells you that. Um, and we're quite happy. To, if anyone's got any questions or comments, we like the comments anyway. Put the comments in the in the uh, comments section. I'm considering did, whether did did I say about sharing the spreadsheet? If you subscribed, I might share the spreadsheet with you. I might I could email it to you. But not if, if you're not subscribed, I'm not. You can go and bugger off. <laughs> I'm only joking. So well, that's this, it. We're hoping that at some stage, I mean, this will probably not help anybody. It might help in a way for people who are coming across to live. But then when we do get there to live and we do start documenting everything, if it'll give people who, uh, who are coming in the future an idea of what to expect with yeah. everything. Well, and that's give what them, we're doing it, it for. It will give them an idea. It'll give them facts. Yeah, it it, will. It'll be our personal experience. When, you know, it's, there's no If we're saying anything that's... It might be construed as legal. It's not. It's our opinions. There's nothing yeah. legal about any of this. That sounds a bit dodgy. There you have it. There you have it. Hope to hope to be back soon. Ding or, ding or to ding, oh, that. ding that notification yeah. bell, and then ding, you will ding. see the next videos. Yeah. I've still got a couple of Spanish ones to put on. I think as have well. You? Yeah. I've still got a couple of Spanish ones. Oh, Guadama, yeah. um, dog poo fest in. Oh yeah, yeah. Get them in on. La, La Zenia, the seaside at Lasenia is a lovely place where you can walk. If you don't mind, tons of dog yeah. poo. Tons of dog poo. I'll put that on at a later date. We're missing the sunshine. We're sick of this rain, aren't we? We are, yeah. But um, time's flying along. So thanks for watching. Thank thanks you. for subscribing. Thanks for being there. Ciao for now. Bye.